Hi all, welcome back in this special series of system by log assertion. In the last video, we had a discussion about the timing window concept with respect to SVA system by log assertion. Now in this video, I will be talking about an another interesting concept called repetition operator. Okay, so here in SVA, if you see, you will find basically there are three types of repetition operators are there. First is consecutive repetition operator. Second is non-consecutive repetition operator. And the third one is go to repetition operator. We'll try to explore each one with the help of simple code and simple waveform. Okay. So before moving to that, let's try to address this question. So this assertion statement says that if a signal start is high on a given passage of the clock, then starting from the next clock cycle, signal A stay high for two consecutive repetition of the clock cycles. And one clock cycle after that, the signal stop is high. Okay. How to write the assertion for this statement? Okay. We'll try to understand with the help of a repetition operator and without a repetition operator. So for this, the simple assertion without repetition operator, we can write like as you can see over here on the screen. Okay. So property P1 int property, we can write our assertion in this property and in property. At every passage of the clock, whenever there is a start, uh, whenever there is a high in this start signal, meaning we can use a dollar rows system function. From the next clock cycle, this A signal should be high for two consecutive clock cycles. Okay, So for that we can write hash hash 1 A, again hash hash 1 A, and then after one clock cycle of that, a stop signal should be high okay so hash hash one a stop signal is there okay. and i hope you remember i told you that the left hand side of this implication operator is referred as an antecedent okay and the right hand side of this implication is referred as consequent okay. let's try to understand this assertion with the help of you know waveform. So for this assert for this property definition, we have to assert this property okay using assert property keyword. Assert property within parenthesis we can give P1 the property name. And then we are writing our own custom message, our own action block over here. Okay. So we are using dollar display printing the current time. And then whenever the assertion is passing this property is satisfying, then we are writing the property P1 succeed. Else, whenever the assertion is failing, we are writing property P1 fail. Okay. Let's try to understand with the help of this waveform. Okay. So, I hope you remember this blue triangle is referred as the assertion starts. Okay. This red triangle is referred as the assertion fail. And this green triangle is referred as assertion pass. Okay. Let's try to understand that. And this, uh, you know, yellow triangle is referred as this antecedent is passed. Okay, so whenever the antecedent is passed, we are evaluating the concept. Okay. So let's try to understand uh, with this simple waveform. Okay. So at this passage of the clock, you will find this, you know, blue square over there, a square box over there. So it means the assertion is starts here, right? So whenever the high is there in this start signal meaning dollar rows in the start, assertion is starts, right? So at, at this passage of the clock, assertion is starts. Okay. Then we want after, from the next clock cycle, this A signal should be high for 
two consecutive clock cycles. So from the next clock cycle, A should be high for two clock cycles. So A is high at this positive clock, and then again A is high at this positive clock, right? And after delay of one clock cycle, the stop signal should be high. So in the next clock cycle, you will find we want the stop signal should be high, but the stop signal is low. Hence, you will find the assertion is failing over here, meaning the you know red triangle you will find. And you are finding this yellow triangle, it means the antecedent is passing. Okay. Now at this passage of the clock, uh, you know, uh, if you if you carefully look to this waveform, if you analyze the waveform, you'll find again here this you know uh, you know behind this you know red triangle you'll find the blue square box over here. Okay, it means the assertion starts here. Okay, so you'll find this 0 to 1 and this start signal if the assertion starts here also. Okay, and after delay of uh, when you, from the next clock cycle, we want the A signal should be high for two consecutive or com continuous for two continuous clock cycles. Okay, so at this passage of the clock, A is high, but in the next passage of the clock, A is 0, right? Hence, the assertion is failing. Now, in this condition, you will find the assertion starts here, okay, 0 to 1, and the start signal, and the assertion starts over here. After delay of 1 clock cycle, meaning from the next clock cycle, you will find the A is high here, right, but here also A is high, right, so A is high for two consecutive, consecutive clock cycle, but in the next clock cycle, the a stop signal is low, hence the assertion is failing over. Now let's try to understand the this passing condition. Okay. So for this you'll find you can analyze the layer, you know remaining signals. Let's try to understand this passing one. Okay. So at this positive the clock, you will find there is the dollar rose in the start signal with zero to one. Okay. So assertion starts over here. Okay. From the next clock cycle. Okay, you will find the A signal should be high for two consecutive clock cycles, right? So A is high here, and the next clock cycle also A is high. And after that, after delay of one clock cycle, meaning here, you will find the stop signal is also high. Hence, you will find the assertion is passing over here. Okay, hence you will find this green triangle. Now here, assertion again starts. Okay, so we want from the after one clock cycle, meaning from the next clock cycle, A should be high. Okay, so A signal should be high for two consecutive clock cycles. So A is high here. Here also A is high. And after one clock cycle of that, the stop signal is high. So right, hence the assertion is again passing over. So you'll find this great triangle. Okay. But let's say if uh, our assertion says that, uh, you know, the A signal should stay high for let's say 100 clock cycle. So if we are writing hash hash 1 A again hash hash 1 A and so on then the assertion writing becomes a bit complex right. We need to write this hash hash 1 A hash hash 1 hash hash 1 A for around you know 100 times. So it is like a time consumer. Hence to avoid that System very long assertion provides the concept of a repetition operator. We'll try to see in the next slide. Okay. So for this particular assertion, if you see the console result, because we are writing our own custom message, right? Our own action block over here, you'll find the assertion pass and fail one message. So whenever the assertion is failing, you'll find a failed message. Whenever the assertion is passed, you'll find a succeed message. Okay, and if you see the assert tab, assertion tab, you'll find the fail one. In nine failures of the other and the pass, and pass count of three. Okay. And this is what our assertion is doing. Okay. So you find the time also when the assertion is failing. If you compare this console result with your waveform, you will clearly understand at what time the assertion is passing and at what time the assertion is failing. Okay, so this is what the condition. Let's say already I have mentioned if we want that the A signal should stay high for 100 clock cycles. If you are writing using that hash hash 1A, then again hash hash 1A and so on. 
it's like a time consuming task so avoid to avoid such kind of thing the sba provides the concept of this repetition okay so here in sba is already at the uh, starting only i have mentioned that we have three kinds of repetition of it consecutive repetition of it which is represented by this is star and n. so n means the number of plug cycles which may be the one two three four and so depending on the requirement okay. now the second one is a non-consecutive repetition of data represented by equal to symbol and the go to repetition of data represented by this symbol okay hyphen are uh, this uh, dash and the return and symbol okay let's try to understand the consecutive repetition of it okay so represented by this star n okay so that n represent uh, the number of clock cycles right so this uh, repetition you know consecutive repetition operator allows the user to specify that a signal or a sequence will match continuously for the number of clock is specified okay let's try to understand the same example already which we discussed in the previous slide okay so what is that example if the signal the start is high on a given passage of the clock. Then starting from the next clock cycle, signal A is stay high for two continuous clock cycles. And one clock cycle after that, signal stops will be you know, high or is high. Right? So for that we can write the same session using this you know consecutive repetition model. So in the property and in property definition will write at every passage of the clock. Whenever the start is high, meaning dollar flows in the stop. From the next clock cycle, this A signal should be high for at least two consecutive clock cycles. Means it should be high for at least two continuously or two continuous clock cycles. And after that, after delay of one clock cycle of that, the start you know stop signal should be high. And we are asserting this property and we're writing our own message menu whenever the assertion is passing. The property P1 is succeed, else the property P1 is fail. Okay, if you analyze the same, uh, you know, uh, uh, this assertion, if you are writing the consecutive repetition of it, you will find the result will be same as we discussed in the previous slide. Okay, let me show you some, uh, you know, the result once, once again. So here, at this passage of the clock assertion start, okay, right, and we want uh, from the next clock cycle, A signal should be high for two consecutive clock cycles. So A is high here, again A is high over here. And after one clock cycle of clock, we want the stop signal should be high, but the, as the stop signal is zero over here, the assertion is failed. Okay, so you'll find the red triangle over there. And this yellow triangle means the antecedent is passed. Okay. Now uh, you can analyze the other signals over here in the waveform data. Now let me show you this pass condition. Already we discussed, let me just once again, uh, you know, walk you through the waveform so that you will have the clear understanding. So at this passage of the clock, you'll find the SSM starts because 0 to 1 is there, the signal starts. And from the next clock cycle of that, we want the A signal should be stay high for at least two consecutive clock cycle. Okay, so at this passage of the clock, you will find the A is high. Again, at this passage of the clock, A is high, okay, right, and after one clock cycle of that, we want a stop signal should be high, so you'll find at this passage of the clock, the stop signal is high, hence you'll find the assertion is passing, you'll find the green triangle over here, okay? and so on, you can analyze the waveform data. So this is what the consecutive repetition operator, okay, so let's say if we want the A signal to stay high for, so, some more number of clock cycles, so we can utilize this consecutive repetition of okay. Let me show you the, you know, uh, console result. So, it, the console result will also be, console result will also be same as we discussed in the previous slide. Okay. Now, let me show you non-consecutive repetition of it, which is, you know, represented by this equal to n, n, okay, so n represent any number, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on, based on all your requirements. So this non-consecutive repetition operator allows the user to specify that a signal or a sequence or a sequence will match continuously or non-continuously for the number of clocks specified. Okay. 
let's try to understand with the help of this uh, simple example so in the property and in property definition we are writing at every passage of the clock whenever the uh, high is there in the start signal meaning dollar rose in the start signal from the next clock cycle we want this a should be high for at least two clock cycles whether it is consecutively many continuously or non continuous okay so after uh, if this condition is satisfied we will find the assertion is passing okay as the assertion is true and we are writing our own custom message in the meaning function from we find the console results for passing let's try to understand the same you know assertion uh, example with the help of this view form okay so at this passage of the clock we will find this okay uh, square bracket right uh, sorry the square blue square over here it means the uh, assertion is starts over here okay so 0 to 1 means the assertion is starts over here, right we want from the uh, from the next clock cycle a uh, should be you know start should start uh, from from that okay from the next clock cycle meaning in the from the next uh, clock cycle we want this a signal should be high for at least two clock cycles continuously or non continuously okay so we'll find from this okay right a is high here right here also in the next clock cycles a is high right so a is high continuously two clock cycles hence you will find the assertion is passing over so you will find this you know, uh, this you know, triangle over here green triangle it means the assertion is passing now here at this passage of the clock assertion is starts right and from the next clock cycle we want the a signal should be high for at least two clock cycles right so you'll find the a is high over here at this passage of the clock right and at this passage of the clock a is low in the next clock cycle right so a is high over here so a is high at this passage of the clock and again a is high at this passage of the clock meaning it is high then it's becoming low and then it's becoming high so means it is high for two clock cycles but it is not in continuous mode right it is so it is not continuously high right it means uh, as we are using non consecutive repetition operator hence we will find the assertion is passing over here right and so on you can analyze the waveform okay so this is what the concept of a repetition operator you know uh, consecutive repetition operator and non consecutive repetition operator in the next video we'll try to explore about the go to repetition operator and we'll see one interesting question over there what is the difference between non consecutive repetition operator and the go to repetition okay so with this i hope you have understood the concept of a repetition operator the use case of a repetition operator so we discussed the consecutive repetition operator and non consecutive repetition operator okay and also i hope you enjoyed this video so thanks for watching this video. Thank you.